Okay, so we use uh, the DSLR Leaves Studio. Uh, this is a Canon 5DS with a 24105mm lens. And we work with a tethered system. Tethered being connecting directly to the software on our iMac there. And to connect with our tethers, we need to take the USB in here and connect it into the USB connection there. This is a weak, a weak link, and it means that should you stretch too far, it will easily. The tether cable is then connected to a tether block. This is a way of holding the micro HDMI connection into the body of the camera securely. Okay, so as you can see, I've got the camera around my neck, which isn't the coolest thing in the world. The reason we keep the straps on is so that we can wrap them around our hands so when we're hand holding we can use the camera grip and it's, because it's a heavy camera the strap around the arm allows the sun to feel it from the top. The cameras are pretty expensive. Okay? We're looking at about £3,500 worth of kit here. So we're going to expect them to be looked after please. Okay, so for ease of what I'm trying to show you, I'm going to set this up on a tripod and we're going to do this right now. Okay, so we have a number of uh, Manfrotto tripods in store. Okay, slightly different models. This is the 190XP. Okay, and it's extendable over two tiers of the legs, so you can manage it to a height of whatever suits you, okay, and it's literally click and lock to adjust. There is a centre column which is adjusted using this wheel here and you can raise or lower accordingly as to your requirements and with it set up you have the control for the tilt, vertical, the horizontal tilt and the horizontal pan. And when you're working with this it's quite ergonomic to set it up and be able to lock in. Okay, so the next important aspect is removing the mounting plate. Okay, this is done by releasing the button there, making sure this is locked in and the plate will fall out. This screws to the base of the camera. There's a reminder here so that you know the tripod plate is missing. Please, when you're finished, remove this from the camera and place it back in here for the next person to use. Okay? So, Connect to the camera, you will find that in the tether block there are two screw threads. We need to go to the smaller quarter inch thread. Again, release the block, sorry, <laughs> release the block and screw in to the base. Screw the plate into the base of the tether plug. Okay? There is an inscription that shows the direction of the lens, but also the thicker part of the um, tripod mounting plate is towards the back of the camera with the string. If you tighten, thumb tight, that should give you enough grip on the tether block. You then 
Make sure you point it forwards into the tripod head and when it's located, press down, release the catch and then lock it. The tripod should then have the camera firmly fixed so it shouldn't drop out. You need to make sure that it's locked in and then you can adjust and lock as necessary. So with the camera, there are a couple of things to check before you start. The first is to make sure that you're set in all the places. And this switch can be pulled back to use manual focus, but auto focus is set up. Okay. So the second is the mode. Make sure that you're set up in manual mode. Because we're using a flash, yeah, and we're using the light meter, we have to be set up in manual mode. Also, we need to make sure that our ISO is as low as possible. So the ISO of 100, ISO is controlled by pressing the ISO button and using the front dial to select. Okay, 100 ISO. Okay, so. If we look at the camera settings, we need to ensure, first of all, that our aperture, which is adjusted using the back dial, is set to the reading that we have on the line meter. In this case, we were aiming for F8. Okay? The front dial there selects our shutter speed. What's important to know that any speed of more than 250th of a second will not sync with the speed of the flash. So higher shutter speeds of a 250th of a second or more, you will create black bang across your image, which will render the image useless, looks a bit funny, but also will make, make you think, oh, something's broken. It's not broken, you're just on too fast shutter speed. You can reduce your shutter speed so you can work on anything lower than 250. Okay, probably 125th of a second is perfect for nearly everything because you're using the brightness of the flash to expose your subject. Slower shutter speeds can be used for creative effect where the flash will freeze any movement but the shutter speed will enable you to create motion blur around your image. So, to gain focus, you simply depress the shutter button halfway and it will give you an audible beat when you've got focus, like that, okay? And then to take a shot, you continue pressing the shutter. In the viewfinder, you will see the focus points illuminated also. You can move the drop dial here to change your focus point. A note of caution is that when trying to gain focus, say perhaps a model against background paper, yeah, you need to focus on some detail. If your focus point is shifted off and against the play mic or whatever color background, the camera won't focus and you won't be able to take a shot. So if that happens, you need to be focused on your subject. When you're shooting models, it's a good idea to aim for the eyes. Yeah? If the eyes are in focus, the shot will generally be in focus. Okay, so. The 
trigger, the transmitter here, is basically set up that when we're ready to go, we get our settings right, get focus, hopefully, compose, take the shot, flash will go off. Finally, if you wish to compose your shot slightly differently, we have the zoom function here, and as I said earlier, this range is from 25 millimeters to 105, so it allows you to effectively compose your shot. So the cameras are set generally to have a custom white balance as indicated there. However, we can see here custom white balance. You may wish to adjust this to flash or Kelvin depending on the requirements. If you're using Kelvin, if you go into the menu settings and scroll down to white balance, Kelvin rating will be indicated and you can adjust this with the front bar in your desired Kelvin rating. In the photo studios, as additional me uh, measures to uh, prevent the COVID-19 virus being transmitted, we insist that you should be wearing face coverings at all times. Now we recognise it is difficult to use a camera without using a viewfinder. So to aid this, we are providing visors which will enable you to be able to see through the viewfinder and get close to the camera without any transmission of uh, respiratory aerosols or touching of skin. It's essential that you wear these if you are using the cameras in the studio. As, addition, uh, as an additional measure, we also have wipes installed throughout the campus. These can be used to wipe down the camera both before and after use. Okay, so you can carefully clean around every aspect. So it's a double measure to try and keep you safe as much as possible. Thank you.